So what I will talk about today is, is drug addiction uh, and more and more into what happens in the brain when, when we use drugs and become addicted. And the first question one might ask is, of course, why study addiction at all? And uh, the first answer to that would be that it's, uh, it's a big problem for society. And uh, I think this is clear to anyone, but it's, it's maybe easy to underestimate. I mean, of course, you, you, have, the, you have the addicts that are, who, whose life is completely ruined by the drug. You can see homeless people or just people uh, drinking a bit too much so that uh, they cannot have a normal job or not a normal relationship. This, this is quite a lot of people, but uh, it's, it's not an enormous amount, of course. But on top of that, you should also add all, all the health problems, death and disease that is, is due to nicotine use. If, if there would be no addiction, there would be no smoking, I think. You should also add quite a lot of, of the alcohol-related uh, diseases and deaths. And now we're rapidly scaling up a lot. I don't have any numbers here, but I think you can imagine pretty well. On top of that, we should actually also add a lot of, of accidents uh, and a lot of crime when people try to get drugs or that when people are, are high on drugs. And we should also add... Uh, the suffering of relatives to all the addicts. If you have a daughter who is on the street on drugs, you, that, that's not a nice situation. You would probably prefer a broken arm or a bit of atherosclerosis. So, I mean, if we, if we add all this up, it's quite obvious that addiction is a, is a, very, is a very bad thing. And there is a lot of ways to, to, to try to handle that. But I think that the one important part of it is to actually understand what happens in the brain of, of, of people that become addicted. Mm -hmm.